The New York Mets and San Diego Padres kick off a four-game series on Thursday night, and we're here to break it down for you guys with a money-making opportunity on the side. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I need to let you guys know about a great special that we're running at Wager Talk and Sports Memo for the next four days to celebrate Wager Talk's 10th anniversary. I'll let you know more about that towards the end of the video, but for now, if you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, let us know who you got tonight. Whether it be a side, a total, a player prop, I'll be checking those comments, responding back to you guys throughout the night. So we took a frustrating loss last night. We had Flaherty over strikeouts. He only got four. We needed eight. I lost count at nine two-strike counts where he didn't get the strikeout. It was pretty frustrating. It was a dream matchup for Flaherty. Of course, he gets his low strikeout since joining the Dodgers. Very frustrating because I originally had Dodgers on the run line at like plus 124. I uh, hope some of you guys played that. I, had a, I did mention that as a lean. However, we'll look to move on right the ship today. We got Mets at Padres. First pitch, 9.40 p.m. Eastern from Petco Park. Padres negative 155 on the money line. Mets plus 135. We got a low total all the way down at 7.5. Two right-handed pitchers going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Luis Severino against Dylan Cease. And I wanted to mention, too, that the Mets did sweep the Padres in New York in mid-June. That's when the Mets... Uh, we're on fire. but um, So anyway, Cease 12-9, 3.46 on the ERA, 1.02 on the whip. He's coming off a mediocre start. Uh, three earned runs and five and two-thirds. Tough spot to pitch, though, at Coors Field in Colorado. He's going to be happy uh, to get home for some home cooking. He's actually drawn three straight road starts, and he has an ERA that's a half run lower. When he pitches at home, he did get smoked in that series against the Mets. Probably his worst start of the season. Seven earned runs across three and two-thirds innings. On the other side of things, we got Luis Severino, eight and six, three nine one on the ERA, and he has a 1.22 whip. He is coming off a great start. Not the best competition in the Marlins at home, though, but he had a complete game shutout, four hits, one walk. Uh, great start for him. However, he does struggle on the road. 4.85 ERA on the road compared to a 3.13 ERA at home. And I give the Padres a major bullpen edge here. They've been better on the season. And when you look at the last 30 days, very impressive. Number four in ERA, number one in XFIP compared to the Mets, 11th and 13th. Guys, I mentioned that great four-day special runs Thursday through Sunday uh, to celebrate Wager Talk's 10th anniversary 30% off all access passes daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, you name it. Uh, anything, all access passes, 30% off. Use the code 10 year. That's the numbers 10, 1, 0, Y E A R, year. That's the code you need to use to get the 30% off. I am in action tonight in the MLB and WNBA. As always, there's a link to my sports memo page in the pinned comment. But anyway, back to today's game. It's a tough travel spot here for the Mets. They just played yesterday at home against the Orioles. Now they got to fly all the way across the country to San Diego. And then here's the key to the game, I think. we got Severino coming off that complete game shutout that we mentioned. Very impressive. But he threw 113 pitches. That's the most he's thrown this season. Before that, his high was 103. And if you look at his game logs, anytime he's thrown 100-plus pitches this season... In the start, directly after, he's allowed four-plus earned runs. Some of them were like six earned runs. So anytime he's thrown 100 pitches this season, next start, he struggled. I expect him to struggle again tonight. Tough travel spot. Uh, disciplined lineup with the Padres. Revenge spot for Cease as well. Looks to redeem himself after that poor outing against the Mets earlier in the year. I normally... Don't back a money line anything higher than like, negative 140 is generally my bat, maybe 145. But Padres at negative 155, this is a spot that I really love for them to win the game. I think it's a spot where you can rake in some units despite the high money line. So I'm going Padres. I wouldn't be against taking them up the run line at plus money. Just tough sometimes at home to cover that run line because you don't know if they'll be batting in the bottom of the ninth. But we're going Padres on the money line for the official play today. 
breaking the rule, going a little bit higher on the juice than we normally would. Um, but if you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button on the way out. And as always, I have free plays posted at sportsmemo.com as well as Twitter or X at Steve's Book 22. And there's a link to my action in the pinned comment. Good luck tonight, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Red Sox, D-backs is my video tomorrow. See you then.